Hello, do you suffer from arthrosis in your hip? Are you in pain and want to do something about it using our foam rolling massage? Well, then you've come to the right place. Let's start with the mini ball and do the following. Lie on your back and use your fingers to find the iliac spine. That's this little bone that sticks out a bit here. If you wear jeans, you'll find it where the small hip pocket is. I could feel it right here. Move your fingers south one or two centimeters, relax, lie back, and feel for a sensitive spot here, in this area, and then use the fingers of both your hands and roll the ball using pressure, always under 10 on your personal pain scale, in slow and small spiraling motions around this spot. I'll be doing that for a bit now, and so should you at home, and go for the spots that are particularly tender. Stay there and roll the ball in small but intense spiraling motions, not too fast, but apply high pressure, but stop short of 10 on your personal pain scale, so you won't have the muscle guard to be able to bear the pain. And the moment the pressure is too much, just ease off a little. This relaxes a strand of the large upper extensor muscle. That's the upper thigh muscle that extends your knee. And it's responsible for too much tension in your hips and also for your arthrosis. If you could bring down tensions there, your hip will feel much better right away. More relaxed, mitigating your arthrosis, stopping the advance of any arthrosis to be more precise. And you'll notice, the longer you do this, the less sensitive the spot becomes which means that the tension in this muscle is being dialed down as we intend. Then we get up again and take the same position as I am here, or a similar position if you're on a chair. And then, with your upper thigh resting on the floor like this, reach out from your crotch and look for a sensitive area on the inside of your upper thigh bone, and then place the ball right on that spot. You could do it with only one hand if you need the other one for support. And start rolling with plenty of pressure. If you notice that you can't build up enough pressure with only one hand, lean back, rest your leg on the floor, and then use both hands. This way, it becomes easier to keep pressure up with two hands. This is all about your hip flexor, which is a large muscle, often shortened by too much sitting. And this muscle runs across your entire abdomen, starting from the back of your spine. And this exercise here is relaxing exactly that muscle. It stretches from down here, stretches across your pelvis to your spine in the back, and since your hip joint is located between these two points, pressure is increased in your hip joint if this muscle is shortened. And this pressure is partially to blame for your arthrosis. And the pain you feel in your hip limits your hip's mobility, and that cuts short the supply of nutrition to your cartilage. Because you limit the range of angles of motion in your joints, and as a consequence, your cartilage is not squeezed and then released enough to soak up nutrients and as a result is starving. And our exercise remedies this situation by simply rolling 
on this spot here, slowly, but with a lot of pressure. To dial down the tensions exactly here. So that should do the trick. Let's switch rollers and use the Medi roller for the outside of the upper thigh muscle. But be careful now, because the outer side of your thigh we're going to work on is very sensitive. Have a look first, okay? Position your leg on it. Best would be to cross your other leg over and put your foot down so you can get a good stable stance. Alternatively, you can take the roller in your hands, sit on a chair, and then roll with your hands. But if you can manage this position, do it. Try it again and again because this is the better version since you can make wonderful use of gravity and focus on the rolling in one go. And shift everything upwards. That's our goal here. We're rolling out the muscle here on the side. And also the lateral muscles here. And we want to squeeze and move out all the waste that has accumulated in the fascia. So that as soon as the roller has passed a spot, it can soak up with fresh fluid from the capillary system. As you can see, I'm rolling really slowly here and positioning my hips in angles that trigger as many sensitive spots as possible. Always under 10 on your personal pain scale, of course, but in as many spots as possible. That is the most effective way when rolling. And now I'm getting closer to the place on the upper thigh where the thigh bone thickens, called the greater trochanter. Usually a very sensitive bone. Don't let that scare you. Maybe ease the pressure a little by slightly lifting your body. But in any case, roll over that point, even though it might be much more sensitive than the other spots. And just enjoy the rolling experience. Remember, no pain, no gain, but the pain should stay under 10, of course. And you should make sure you won't muscle guard, because that would be counterproductive. And now I've passed this little hump, going in deeper now. It can still be a very sensitive spot, but enjoy it. And here, you should work particularly slowly on it, because a lot of tensions have developed over time. And these tensions can be resolved through this rolling massage, and free up your joint from that pressure so it can recover. And as soon as the pressure has been reduced and your mobility has increased, your arthrosis comes to a stop. This process of wear and tear and your cartilage might even regenerate. Let's move up towards the outer crest of the iliac bone. Shortly before you reach that point, you're in a very sensitive area. And when you realize you've reached the crest, you can stop and move immediately to the inner side of the leg. So just sit down and you can hold the roller in both hands. This is the mini roller, by the way. It's quite hard and has a very small diameter. And that helps us to roll out the abductors here really nicely. It helps you shift the fluid in there out with all the waste that has accumulated over time. Try to squeeze that out so it can be disposed of via the capillary system and the lymph ducts. All those substances your body doesn't like anymore but has had a hard time getting rid of due to a lack of movement. 
This way, we're reversing this negative effect. This accumulation of waste material in your fascia tissue, this lack of fluids, these substances that are a bother, we turn everything around. Now, everything is cleaned up, your cells can breathe again, passing waste materials into the intercellular spaces. We reverse all these negative processes into something positive and make good use of this positive effect, roll all the way up to your groin, maybe even open up the angle a bit so you could work on the last couple of centimeters, and then you're done with the outer side. And the inner side. And now we're moving on to the front part of the upper thigh muscle. For this, we're going to use the midi roller again. And move on to the upper end of the mat. And position our knee on the roller like this. Ah, I forgot to mention, if in your case it's the left hip, then you have to do the exercise with your left leg. But I guess you figured that out for yourself already. And now, using our weight, we roll down our thigh. At some point, we use our elbows for support. And slowly, we're rolling along going for maximum effect. If the pressure is not enough, you could also put your other leg up onto the one you're working on. That decision is all up to you. Do what's best for you. But in most cases, one leg is enough. And now, we are going to roll all the way up to where we landed before with our mini ball. Now, as a man, be careful not to hurt yourself. Now, let's roll to the iliac spine of your pelvis. This is where I am now, as you can see. Roll over that point and come to a stop. And the next stop is the back of the leg. Because the back of the leg also goes into the muscles of your buttocks that again also pull on your pelvis. And that's why we have the effect here, too. And the leg flexor is attached to the pelvis as well, with a hip joint in between. And so that, too, lowers the pressure in the hip joint. The more the pressure is taken off your hip joint and goes back to normal, the better you are going to feel. Your arthrosis might even be reversed. Even if some people tell you that's impossible, don't believe them. Do the exercise anyway. And trust me, because it has been proven that it's possible, but only a few people know about it. So simply do it, and believe me that it works. And now we're approaching the tailbone, which can also be very sensitive, which is great because there's a lot going on in here. And then we roll over the tailbone. That's where I am now. And this spot is sensitive too. Which is a good thing. Remember, if the sensitivity is high, so is the benefit. And let's keep on rolling towards our buttocks. You may want to support yourself with your elbows. We're rolling out our buttocks now. 
as you could see, I positioned my buttocks slightly slanted because that takes pressure off the sacrum and distributes it widely over my buttocks all the way up to the far end of the iliac crest. And shortly before you reach that point, sensitivity goes up again. Can you feel it? That's, that's where I am now, maybe you can tell. A little more. 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 And now I feel it's very sensitive. And as soon as you're on the iliac crest, get off the roller. And for the final part, I'm going to take the midi ball. Sit on the relevant butt cheek and roll on it in spiraling motions, trying to find the most sensitive spots. Here, I can feel probably two more sensitive spots in the buttocks muscle, the gluteus medius, which is very short in most people. And if this muscle is too short and pulled taut, it means that the gluteus minimus, the smaller one, is also too short and tensed up and blocks your hip joint. And in addition to that, your arthrosis is also having a field day and triggers a lot of pain. We'll do a couple more circles, spiraling, not circles, mind you, and go for the most tender spots. Stay there as long as you want. My ambition is to establish this position as the people's TV posture. So whenever you're watching a movie or a show, you do it in this position and start rolling and use your time as efficiently as possible because the reward is huge. You're going to feel so much better after the movie and I'm sure your arthrosis pain will also have subsided. Well, the word arthrosis pain is a contradiction in itself since we know it is not your arthrosis that causes the pain but the tensions in your muscles and fascia that lead to arthrosis and cause the pain and have your body switch on the pain. But anyway, the pain is reduced and you'll feel much better and your arthrosis is better as well, meaning it has been stopped and can be reversed. So everything's fine. You could do this as long as you please. It's a nice routine, a good exercise to reduce your pain and the arthrosis itself. Very important. Up here you find more exercises and down there you can subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye and see you soon. And remember, a thumbs up is always welcome.